Programming isn't just for professionals writing large commercial programs. A basic knowledge of how programs work can be very helpful if you ever want to tweak a macro in Word or help solve some maths homework. We're going to introduce programming with a language called Small Basic. It's made by Microsoft and it's great for beginners because the code editor offers help as you type. And it's also possible to load programs directly from the internet. Small Basic can be downloaded from smallbasic.com. Simply load this in your browser and click on the Download Now button. There is a tradition in programming that the first program a new programmer writes simply says Hello World. Start Small Basic and you can see the toolbar at the top with some of the various tools and the blue column on the right hand side of the window. This displays help about commands as you type them. Left click inside the white text area. Notice this small number 1 in the grey margin. Like other programming languages, Small Basic numbers the lines in a program as this makes it easier to track down problems later on. Now type the following command. Text window dot right line, open brackets, inverted commas, hello world, exclamation mark, inverted commas, close bracket. That's all we need. To run the program, either press F5 or click on the big blue run icon in the toolbar. And here we can see our program has worked and it says hello world. Press any key to close this program and return to Small Basic. Congratulations, you've now written your first program. You can either skip on to our next video or hang around while I explain some of the more helpful tools in the Small Basic code editor. It will quickly become clear that Small Basic is easy to help. Firstly, it suggests commands as you type in the window. And you don't have to complete the command, simply use the up and down keys to move through the different commands and press enter to complete them. Alternatively, if you know that the next part of the command is going to be a full stop, you can simply type the full stop to move on to the next section of the code. Secondly, it colours text to show what Small Basic thinks the text is. This is very useful when tracking down problems. For example, let's deliberately add another line to the program that includes an error to show how Small Basic will help fix it. Secondly, Small Basic colours text to show what it thinks the text is, and this is very useful when tracking down problems. For example, let's deliberately add another line to the program that includes an error to show how Small Basic will fix it. Our deliberate mistake is going to be to include some inverted commas where the full stop should be between text window and write line. Firstly, you can see that the colours look wrong compared to the line above. This write line command here isn't red anymore, it's now sort of orangey colour, and the hello world is black rather than orange. This is the first pointer that all is not right with our program. Now if we click on the blue run arrow, instead of the text window of the preview example appearing, an error message will appear at the bottom of the text entry window. In this case it says, sorry we found some errors, 2, 11, colon, unrecognized statement encountered. The first number is the line with the error, and the second is the position in that line where the problem occurred. Now, we already know that that's because there should be a full stop here. So if we correct this, and then click on Run again, the program will now run perfectly without any problems. As easy as Small Basic is to learn, there are times when it's helpful to leave notes in the code in plain English. This is useful to remind yourself of why you did something a particular way, or particularly important if you're working on a program with somebody else. Small Basic ignores any lines that start with an apostrophe when it comes to your program and it formats any text after this in green in italics. You can see here that the whole command has been written in green in italics and when we run the program that text is invisible. Sometimes you might also want to use comments to remove a line of code from your program as you're working on it to check what's going on. 
There we are, we've now covered the basics of writing a program in small basic and using comments to help you remember why something has been done the way it has.